it turns out that for VR to be truly immersive, uh, you have to experience it in the same way as you experience the real world. Otherwise, there's a break in immersion. You, you don't believe it. So long as you're moving and the world moves as you expect, then the brain will accept that. If you're seated and the world is moving, you don't feel immersed. So there's the break, the disconnect between what you see and what you feel. And worse still, because you are running in the virtual world and the scenery is flashing by and yet your body is telling you you are seated, that causes this, this mismatch which causes nausea. And that's called simulation sickness. And the rover treadmill that we have solves the problem. And it's very simple. It consists of a platform and a pair of shoes which together make for easy movement. You know, we've seen people fully immersed within three or four seconds, absolutely, completely bowled over by what they're, they're seeing. So, uh, you know, the, the time for the rover is definitely now. By 2020, there'll be potentially two billion VR-enabled devices, but the content, really, the imagination is, is only the limitation, what, what people can now do.